Close to 500 buildings damaged or destroyed, 250 people hurt, 15 killed. Tomorrow marks five years since a fertilizer plant caught fire and then exploded 75 miles south of Dallas-Fort Worth in West Texas. What caused it remains an unsolved mystery. But what we do know is that the heavy toll it took on that small community remains years later. Todd Unger explains in tonight's WFAA original. The hours in West Texas can tick by slowly. Days become weeks. Weeks, months, months, years. It's out, West Fires. Ironic then that five years ago, a mere 22 short minutes shaped the future. Sitting at home eating dinner, and literally your whole world just blow up in your face. Just come right at you. Misty Lambert can relive every moment of that April 17th evening on what's now a concrete slab stood a two-story apartment complex There's a heavy smoke coming out of one of the where she watched with her children as the fertilizer plant burned just a hundred yards away. They got out. She didn't. It split like this and just, it came at us. I mean, it was like a woo, like a wave of just fire. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I was in surgery for about 20, almost 22 hours. Just another scar. I mean, we've got plenty of scars. They had four plastic surgeons working on me the whole time. It's gonna be a long, a long road. We visited with Misty during her initial recovery, doctors removing so much glass and debris that she had more than 1,000 stitches and staples. About 30 pills a day. Her daily recovery now still includes pill bottles for pain and anxiety. <laughs> She still thinks of when this video was taken, when she was trapped in her second floor unit. Parts in your life that you want to be able to forget, but you'll never be able to forget because it's there, it is ingrained in your mind and it'll never be gone. If memories are supposed to fade with time, that hasn't happened for the 2800 in West. This is about where it got really bad. This is where it got bad. This is uh, Spring Street. Mayor Pro Tem and then volunteer firefighter Steve Vanek hey, come here, come here. still recalls the panic on the streets after the plant's 30 tons of ammonia nitrate blew up. And he was looking up in the air and kind of waving. I said, you know, what the hell is he doing? Come to find out, he was standing in front of a window and he got blinded. Vanek and others spent that night coordinating the images, now infamous, rescues from a nursing home, a triage unit on the school football field for scores of the injured. Uh, 15 people died. It could have been 50. Real easy and real quick. Some remained evacuated for weeks, especially in Zone 3. A big old concrete boulder right there. Where close to 150 homes were badly damaged. Many look new now because they are new. So too is the nursing home and the town school. Behind this, there's two. There's going to be two flagpoles. But one sign of recovery, of healing, isn't quite finished. In the middle of the bowl is an eternal flame that will be burning. Joe Pushovsky is overseeing the Fallen Hero Memorial Site, just over the tracks from the blast site. And so each and every one of, uh, of the individuals that passed that day. His family has lived in West more than 100 years, but this is even more personal. The energy, the bulk of the, went this way. It went to the Northwest. Joe lost a home in the explosion. He lost something else, too. As in my son's case, he was badge number 3107. Of the 15 markers being built here, one will be for Joey Jr., one of the volunteer West firefighters that gave his life. It hadn't been easy for the last five years. There's been, uh, you know, there's been a process that uh, that you try to go through, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, whether it's physically, emotionally, spiritually. Beginning of the heart was prior to the uh, initial call in. Twelve first responders died in all that night. And if you look closely to the side of a bench at the site, you'll find what represents their heartbeats. The heartbeat gets more rapid. It starts when the fire did at 729. It flatlines when their lives did at 7.51. 22 minutes in April that reshaped families. No doubt, no doubt. And forever altered one town's place in history. In West, Todd Unger, Channel 8 News. 
The ATF is still investigating the explosion because they believe the original fire was intentionally set. No one has ever been arrested. Over the past year, many of the town's lawsuits filed against the plant and the chemical provider have been settled for undisclosed sums. We found